In the last video on sleep, we talked about niacinamide, valerian, and passion flower to help with sleep. But there's also the issue of neurotransmitters. I'm sure you've heard of serotonin. Serotonin is your body's natural feel-good transmitter. It helps regulate our mood and appetite as well as sleep. Now, if you crave sweets and high glycemic index foods like cookies, crackers, and rice, then you may have a serotonin deficiency. Women are also more often affected by a serotonin deficiency. Now, serotonin deficiency can cause you to struggle with worry, anxiety, obsession, seasonal depression, and feelings of low self-worth. With the serotonin deficiency, you will often have sleep problems. Now, during the day, your body slowly converts serotonin into melatonin. Your body stores this melatonin inside your pineal gland in your brain. Now, at nightfall, your pineal gland releases the melatonin. The melatonin then helps you fall asleep. But if your serotonin levels are too low during the day, then your melatonin levels will also be low at night. Now, one option is to take melatonin. This is usually done in a dose of about a half a milligram an hour before you go to bed. Now, there's other ways to raise your serotonin and melatonin by diet or by supplementation of precursors. Now, one of the best ways to reverse a serotonin deficiency is to take the amino acid 5-HTP. That's 5-hydroxytryptophan. 5-HTP is the precursor to serotonin. In other words, it's the next to last step in your body's production process for serotonin. So by taking 5-HTP, you bypass the need for conversion of other molecule, molecules and you directly produce more serotonin. Now, several double-blind studies show that 5-HTP decreases the time needed to fall asleep and also reduces the number of nighttime awakenings. 5-HTP also improves the quality of your sleep. 5-HTP increases REM sleep by about 25%, and it boosts your deep restorative sleep. And 5-HTP does this without increasing your total sleep time. Now, the dose I usually recommend is 100 or 200 milligrams. Don't take this if you're already taking a prescription antidepressant. Now, another option to 5-HTP is to take the amino acid tryptophan, which is a little further upstream. Now, supplementing B vitamins can help boost your serotonin levels as well because your body can't make serotonin without them. That's why you need B3, niacinamide, that we talked about in the other video. Plus, you need vitamin B6. B6 is involved in thousands of reactions in the body. It's essential for the creation of serotonin. Vitamin B6 also helps your body minimize the effects of stress. It helps you feel comfortable and prepares you for a good night's rest. Now, do you sometimes feel anxious or even have panic attacks? Or do you ever feel overstressed or burned out? Then you might have a GABA deficiency. GABA or gamma-aminobutyric acid, is our body's most abundant inhibitory neurotransmitter. It functions as the body's calming system. Now, without GABA, you can feel out of balance, prone to anxiety and sleep problems. You may feel stiff, tense, unable to relax and loosen up. Without enough GABA, it's hard to unwind after a stressful day. GABA is the brakes for the neurotransmitter activity. When stress triggers a spike in epinephrine, causing the fight or flight response, GABA slows this response down by blocking the signal. GABA relaxes, sedates, and reduces overstimulation. Now, one obvious way to increase GABA is to supplement GABA, but it's important not to take too much because it can have a drug effect with side effects. So in addition to an appropriate amount of GABA, you can also supplement with the building blocks of GABA, which are certain amino acids. These amino acids are able to cross the blood-brain barrier. That means they can go right to the brain where GABA is created. Taurine is one of these important amino acids. Taurine helps increase GABA without any adverse side effects. 
Taurine can also reduce the reaction to stress by inhibiting the release of epinephrine, the fight or flight neurotransmitter. Now, do you ever go to bed? You feel drowsy, you're ready to go to sleep, but then when you get in bed, you're awake. Your mind races. You ruminate about what's going to happen tomorrow. Well, there's a natural solution for this problem too. And it comes from a source that you might not expect. This is why a lot of people feel so relaxed after drinking a cup of green tea, despite the fact that there's caffeine in green tea. Green tea is an abundant source of the amino acid L-theanine. L-theanine can blunt the stimulating effects of caffeine, and it has an overall calming effect. A number of studies, including double-blind clinical trials, show that L-theanine calms you down and reduces the stress and anxiety created by everyday life. Studies also show that L-theanine helps increase alpha wave activity in your brain. Alpha waves correspond to the same state of calm relaxation that you feel when you're meditating. L-theanine also increases the production of GABA. So taking L-theanine is like getting a mini dose of meditation for calming down your mind and promoting deep restful sleep. Now, of course, the best way to get this all right is to avoid excessive stress and consume a nutrient-dense diet that contains all the precursor amino acids, vitamins, minerals, essential fats, and cofactors to be sure your nervous system chemistry is optimal so you can sleep normally. If a poor diet, disease, or unavoidable stress get the upper hand, at least there's an alternative to the side effect laden drugs that are being prescribed at ever increasing rates. This is Dr. G. Thanks so much for watching.